guys. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to piece a quick, fun strip quilt. And I call this my e quick and easy weekend quilt because it really comes together so fast. You could make this quilt in a weekend. And then tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm going to be going live and showing you how I quilt my quilts on a just regular domestic sewing machine. So keep on watching if you're interested in piecing this quilt and be sure to turn in, tune in tomorrow for my live. Okay, so one of the reasons that this quilt is so easy to piece is because you just need two sets of jelly rolls and you may not really need two full sets. Um, all the details on amounts are going to be coming soon in this video but you'll want some solid background strips and you'll want some pattern strips and the reason this comes together so quickly is because the strips that you're using as a background strip you won't have to cut so it's just going to be the length of a width of fabric and then to get some more um, interest and contrast you're going to be cutting down your pattern strips into six and a half inch rectangles. And this comes together so fast because since you have this solid strip that is not pieced together, and then your piece strips, piece strips right next to each other, you don't have any seams to meet. So you're not worrying about points or anything like that. It just comes together really quickly. So I'm gonna sh give you all the measurements and everything you need to know about piecing this together quickly. Um, throughout the video but again be sure to tune in tomorrow if you're interested in seeing how I quilt my quilts on a domestic sewing machine it'll be live so if you have any questions to ask I'm no expert but I could give you um, different tips and I might be able to answer any questions you have if not I'll let you know and be honest and um, yeah, so we'll be, I'll be there to chat, and if you have any questions about quilting or how I got started, just anything, be sure to hop on and um, ask me some questions or just chat. And with all that said, check out all of the measurements for this quilt in the rest of the video.
points, you got all the measurements and everything you need to know about the quilt. If there was anything I missed, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll answer them for you. And now I'm just gonna get this quilt all layered and basted so that it'll be ready tomorrow to quilt. So be sure to tune in tomorrow to check out how I quilt my um, quilts on my domestic sewing machine. All right, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.